got started with Skylar a little over two years ago, and uh, I got started actually because you know, Skylar is a clean, hypoallergenic, and cruelty-free fragrance brand, um, and I've been wearing perfume for basically my entire life, but the trigger for starting my company actually came when my daughter was allergic to my perfume, so I wanted a better alternative um, to traditional fragrances. Um, in my business career, I'm most proud to be able to connect with consumers everywhere. When I first started the business, you know, Skylar is based in LA, I thought that our customers would be very um, LA based or very bi-coastal, but to my surprise, we're actually able to reach customers everywhere. I definitely believe in work-life balance. Um, it's not something that I feel like I have mastered, um, but it's certainly something that I work on and I strive towards every day. Um, you know, being a mom, my daughter is now four years old. She was just a few months old when I started playing around with the concept of Skylar. So basically my entire journey at Skylar, she was, you know, a part of that as well. Yeah, I think it's really exciting. Um, I think it's really awesome, you know, that women, um, you know, that entrepreneurs doesn't equal male necessarily, right? When people think of entrepreneurs, um, you can be any gender. Um, and I think that's super, super amazing. Um, you know, I think it's a kind of crazy journey. There's definitely a lot of ups and downs. It's more of a roller coaster ride than a straight line, you know, up and to the right. Um, you know, so yeah, I think it's great, you know, and I think it's, you know, sort of when people ask me what advice I would give to aspiring entrepreneurs, I always, you know, recommend that they do something they really, truly love, not just for the money because it's a really long journey and, you know, if you don't love it or don't believe in it enough, it's just easy to quit along the way.